I believe now that 7-7 seven, seven was, was a journey that I couldn't have stopped. The day actually unfolded the day before, which was the 6th of July, 2005. And that was the day that we all found out that London had won the Olympic and Paralympic bid. I uh, went out and celebrated with work. And then it was a normal morning. Ran for my train, I picked up my paper and I started reading it. And obviously all you could read that morning was, was about the successful Olympic bid. I don't remember the noise, I just remember a big white flash in front of my eyes. And I felt like I was being thrown from side to side. I was the last person to be taken from, from the tube because the fireman had to cut me out. I had lost both my legs and I count myself as, as very, very lucky because 52 innocent people lost their lives that day. A lovely lady called Maggie taught me to, to walk and she knew how sporty I was and I was looking for something to replace that drive and ambition that I used to feel at work. I tried sitting volleyball and just absolutely fell in love with it. Started playing for a local team and suddenly I found myself on the uh, GB team and had uh, two years of such <laughs> hard, gruelling, blood, sweat and tears to try and, you know, um, earn at our host nation place at, at London 2012. Sport is everything to me. I believe that I am a true product of what the power of sport can do. Like, I'm talking about this now and I've got goosebumps. You're thrown into this world that, that you never ever thought that you would in a million years be in. And I believe the power of sport healed me. Absolutely healed me in a way that no, nothing else could have done it. That was obviously on a physical level, but more so on the psychological side, on the emotional side. It built up my self-esteem. It got me out meeting a great bunch of people, people that have been through something similar to me. And it gave me that new way forward. And it, it taught me that, you know, you could go through the darkest, darkest days of your life, but it doesn't happen overnight, but it can happen where good things can come out of bad. Seventy-five percent of people feel there has been no change in attitudes towards disabled people since 2012. Scope is all about making society a better place for disabled people and their families. Click the button to subscribe to our YouTube channel.